Well, this is not good. Looks like we got an issue with the well pump. Water coming out of that thing. Got to dig into that and see what in the world is going on. Yep, it's coming right up. That plug. <laughs> when I first started having this problem, I noticed that we had some water coming out of our well, and it didn't seem to correlate a whole lot with the pump running. It was just a little bit. The more I've looked into it, it definitely correlates with the pump running. So I just killed the pump, and uh, now the uh, bladder's just uh, finishing out what it has. We're going to see if this just totally stops with the pump off, and uh, but it is leaking down inside the, the pressure gauge. So pretty sure that my issue is, I think my pitless adapter is what I'm thinking. And uh, so we'll get into this here, and uh, we'll see what happens. There is a pitless adapter down there. I don't have my tool right now to do that, so I typically do is I'll actually beat this guy a little like a like a slit, and I'll show you here in a minute. And then we'll be able to actually go down and feel that thing. I'm gonna see right now though if I can feel it. Oh, I do. Okay, that's great. It's only that far down, so looks like we're about what two and a half foot down there. And uh, I think it is. You just We don't want to loosen the adapter until. Perfect stuff in there. We don't want to loosen the adapter until we can uh, have it supported. Huh. It feels like that might be going on there. Awesome. Good stuff. Go ahead and get uh, this all set up. I put this here so that you can actually use it like a tripod. I don't have a tripod, so next best thing, we got cable to it, attach there. See if we can't get this uh, pump pulled. All right, going to rotate this here to undo that lock down below. It should be too overly tight. Look pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's free. It's free. All right. Pulled up pretty nice. I want to uh, go ahead and secure it under the pitless adapter. See something happens though. The blue's coming down the hole. It's a little tight in the hole, not too bad though. For a steel casing. Now you can kind of see that uh, fitting there that we had to unscrew on top of that. See how that tube that I smashed down worked really, really, really well on that. Like this is where it was leaking at, blowing by that seal. I don't know. It definitely was. <sighs> well, this part's done. Now on for the uh, other side of this thing, which is down, down in the dirt there. A couple.
time to cut this well line right here because I'm going to have to splice that in and repair it. Got it. Oh, man, that thing's been a source of problem for our well for a long time. Alright, so I'm going to go and replace this bitless adapter. The new style is totally different. Of course, the old style had a clamp that went around and uh, this one doesn't. So this is uh, what a pitless adapter is. And uh, basically this is the part that'll go through the casing from the inside. And so you have uh, the seal here. All this will be on the inside. This is the piece that actually slides off. I'm not taking it off right now because I need, to, I need it together to put it in. And then this goes through, then once it's through, then these pieces go on on the outside. And then once these are on the outside, you can see how that's shaped like the edge outside of that casing. Once that's done, then uh, tighten this guy up. And then the threads here are internal, and that's what the barb goes to for the line that goes to the house. This actually goes the other way. But, so, and then I went ahead and picked this up because this works great. Just uh, goes in here, and uh, that's how you drop that thing down in. And then on the other end, I'll actually assemble a T, put a T, a couple handles on it, and that'll make it real easy to lift this pump in and out. And so, got to do repair on the other side. But we're going to go ahead and start cutting that hole. Uh, calls for uh, this uh, size for this a pitless adapter to go through. It's a two and an eighth, so I'm going to pick up a hole saw for that. It's going to be a challenge because there's already a hole there, so I need to I need to make a bushing for this so that this will actually cut right. So I'm going to work on making that bushing now, and uh, we'll get right down in that mud hole and start uh, start working. See if this works got the water out of there because drills and electric drills and water don't mix real well all right well it now fits so I'll show you how this thing goes in here now like that so now I'm gonna get ready to get it in from the other side like that well pump uh, tube on there drop that thing down and uh, come on over with it, tighten her up. Yep, that's the one that goes down. I want to get that wrong. I got that on tight. I got these clamps all tight. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy T-bar up at the top, and uh, this will be what I use to lower it in. Also, with the T up top, keeps that from falling in, so it's a good deal. This seal on, it goes right in there, and then uh, these others actually go on the outside, so we want that guy to stay there, and uh, we don't want him to come off for sure, which I don't think that'll, that'll happen, so we're good with that. All right. Gonna go ahead and take loose some of these things. Okay, we want to take a look at. I need to look right now and later. Set this pump down. Rotate it so it's right there at my fitting. That's a bummer. That's pretty bad. I actually have to. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Look, what that means is, I actually got to set this pitless adapter in there before I can actually drop it. All right. So this is the part that sticks in that hole. So I'm going to try to do this with this pipe still in here be a challenge but I think it can happen I really don't want to have to pull that pump all the way out so figure this out and uh, all right well here's what we're gonna do um, they provide this little hole on top of that thing probably just for this purpose and uh, I went ahead and sealed that o-ring on there so that it won't fall off and uh, this probably be better if you had an extra person but right now I just don't and so what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it ready to ride this line right down I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Like that, yeah. So we can 
hopefully grind that down with it. it sure does. I found it like that. I'm a little bit angry. Something just a little bit longer and pushing that uh, fitting down with that pipe. I got this tied off so we don't lose it. And uh, we're real close down there. Oh, yeah. oh I see it. I see it. Alright. So just pull that down here. Alright, they got this uh Seal going on here first. I'll hold that as you go. Put this guy on like that. And then that way. Tighten it up. Keeping this uh, pretty tight so I can keep that at the top and then just tighten that up. Just kind of hand tight right now. Yeah, it feels pretty good and uh, I think that'll be good enough to set that pump on then we'll know it's straight and then I can uh, tighten up the rest of the way so looking good all right let's go ahead and see if we can't set this that's a well line into that pitless adapter hey Good, then don't. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Yay. All right, set right on there. Well, we're sitting in there. We like it. Look at that. Look at that. Feels good. It's set already felt in the hole there it's fully seated and so now what I'm gonna do is um, go ahead and tighten up that nut sitting right okay that seal on that is not to seal the pressurized water that's just to keep groundwater out so that looks good looks like it should this fitting from a inch and a quarter down to one inch yeah, this one does carry that water to the house, so want some good, good sealing on here. Thread it's feeling pretty good. We got our line in, and uh, now we're going to take out the uh, T handle, figure out our, our length there that uh, we need, and see if I need to add anything. And I looped it like that so I could pull it out. Had I just tied it on down there, then we wouldn't be able to just do this. But that's why we did that. This is seated great, not moving when I do that. Unscrew this guy. I'm gonna measure this. So from threads all the way in, it's 29 inches. So let's see, threads all the way in, 28 inches. So looks like I am an inch. Difference now with the disaster. I'm gonna get this thing checked out and I'm gonna go back together with it a little bit differently. I'm gonna use this cap on here. Yeah, we're gonna add up to this guy. Alright, just kick the pump on. Looks good, looks good. Pretty excited. No doubt the rest of the family's excited, that's for sure. Alright, everything checks out. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get ready to put that cap down and uh, put this, uh, uh, this fitting in here, this pipe. Um, basically what this will do, it'll keep that hole clean. So whenever we go to pull the pump next time, it'll be clean. And uh, it's actually gonna stick up through that. So, because this is now not long enough, Four, uh, 29 inches what we need this is like 28 um, I have an extra piece of pipe here so I'm going to cut this guy 
on that new cap. It just sticks through. It doesn't actually have a fitting. I could put a fitting on it if I'd like, but I wouldn't have to. It actually clamps down on it. So we got that. Put that on there. This one, again, we're not trying to hold any water with this. We just want to snug. We, we don't need to put any sealant on there. Yeah, he's pretty tight. <sighs> Should be able to... Supposed to do a better job and keeping things out of your well. 